In this video, I flip through the new Stargrave rulebook and talk a little bit about what you are in store for should you choose to get in on Osprey Games Stargrave. My name is Jay, and you're watching Must Contain Minis. I do reviews and showcases of miniatures and miniatures related products. My goal is to share with you options out there that are not necessarily made by the biggest gaming companies on the market. To be completely transparent, Osprey Games sent me this book for review purposes. I also get commissions for purchases made using certain links from the description below. I identified those links with the word affiliate. With that out of the way, let's get into this flip through. If you see a page that you want to read up on, feel free to pause this video and continue watching when you're done. In Stargrave, you run a crew of space adventurers along with your captain and first mate through a sci-fi game all about gathering treasure. Let's open up the book. The introduction is all the backstory you need for this game. The book gets you into the game really quickly. It starts off with all of the different classes that you can make your captain and first mate. They do not need to be the same class either. You can have a mystic, robotic expert, and more. After this section about captains, you get to the part about soldiers that you can hire as part of your crew. Only four members of your crew can be specialists. Now this entire section has already been given away by Osprey. I talked about it on Must Contain Minis, and if you go to the game resource page on the Osprey website, you can find this entire section of the book about the crew creation online for free. I think that is a very smart move on Osprey's part, as you can get the PDF and really get a feel on what miniatures you can use as your space crew and figure out whether this game is right for you. I will put a link to those pages in the description below. Carrying on, we can see the weapons and equipment that your crew members can come with along with some great artwork. Next we get right into the rules. Lots here, but if you are familiar with the 2nd edition of Frostgrave or even the 1st edition, you'll be right at home with these rules. A lot is very similar. Next up is what I really like to look at when I look at a new book, that is the campaign rules. Even when I am on my own and not able to get out due to a worldwide lockdown, due to the pandemic of course, campaign rules get me excited. Here you can learn how to level up your characters and the rewards that they get for each level that they achieve. When your group gets enough experience, you can choose to level up the captain or the first mate. The book then describes the different types of loot that you can get and the treasures that they contain. Again, the artwork here is fantastic. I'm really liking this picture. Jumping ahead, you can spend your loot and it goes into your special abilities too. Next up, we have the scenarios. There are 10 of them. You and your opponent can either mutually decide which one to play or roll for the game randomly. There is a good amount of variety here, but these missions are all about collecting treasure. There is a new type of treasure called data, which you will want to take a hacker codebreaker with you to help you get. This means that there's both physical and data loot up for grabs. Next up, we have the bestiary section. I already spoiled this whole chapter on Must Contain Minis with a chart giving the names of the creature list as well as a description of those creatures in my own words. There will be a link to that article in the description below. There it is. That is the Mind Gripper, which is like a face hugger from aliens. That is a neat alien. Finally, we come up with the appendix and power cards. Those power cards Osprey just spoiled recently too. You can get all of those power cards along with the crew rosters right off Osprey Games website. Again, there will be a link to all of that in the description below. Overall, I really like this book. It takes a game that we already know and moves into a sci-fi world with tweaks here and there. It is Frostgrave in space. Yes, there are more expansions coming for this game as well. On top of that, North Star Military Figures has an official line of miniatures for the game, and you are also encouraged to play with whatever miniatures you want, including those you already own. If you are interested in this game, I encourage you to go over to Osprey Games website and to check out their free materials that they are offering right now, with the crew sheets, crew creation rules, and power cards all up for grabs right now, you can get started on creating your crew today without even buying the book. Interested in buying the book? There will be some links in the description below. My favorite places tend to be from North Star Military Figures or Amazon. If you are a friendly local gaming store or your favorite online store also sells this product, I would recommend that you check them out as well. And you can always go straight to Osprey Games as well. 
If you liked this content, please check out my other videos or head to Must Contain Minis and take a look at my written articles too. Until next time, happy gaming everyone.